Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And today I want to talk about an update with the cucumelon plant, or also known as the mouse melon. As you see up top here, there's a ton of male flowers that are opening up and blossoming. And you see a lot of beautiful little yellow female flowers as well. Now, as you see, on every cluster, for example here, in between the node, there's going to be a little vine that grows, and it has all these little small male flowers, and on every single stem like this, there's usually a cluster of four to five male flowers, as well as usually two to three female flowers that open up. And if you notice, there's actually no fruit on the bottom of the flower. So this isn't actually a fruit bearing flower. So the nice thing about this is you could simply come in here and just pick this right off. Now you have a nice little beautiful yellow flower. Now normally you would put the female the male flower after you since we're hand pollinating indoors you would put it right in the center there and that would usually pollinate the fruit that's on the bottom but since there's no fruit on this one what you could just do is eat it and if you haven't tried these cucumber flowers yet I highly recommend it these things are so delicious and sweet it's honestly like a little sugar pop you think it doesn't have much flavor at first but as soon as you start chewing it it just gets sweeter and sweeter and the nice thing about this is there's so many flowers that open up right here a lot more male flowers and female flowers that open and blossom in relation to how much fruit is produc produced so this is just another thing that you could come in and these things are everywhere and come in and just pick it right off you could put it in your salad you could put it in your meats you could just put it in or just eat it like I do I think it's so delicious and these things are actually pretty good for you so if you haven't tried the little flowers yet, definitely give it a try once you're growing these indoors. And I know a lot of you have been wondering what's going on with the seed giveaway that I have posted earlier and a lot of you have entered and posted a lot of comments I've, and have had some great ideas of where you want to grow these things. So don't worry, I didn't forget about you. We're simply waiting for these fruits to fully mature and develop. And once they get nice and large, I'm going to ferment them, dry it out, get the seeds ready for you. So as soon as everything is ready, I'll be posting more information about who the winners are. And most likely, it's probably going to be way more winners than I anticipated. Because I'm going to have a lot more seeds that I'm going to specifically save to share with everyone here. And if you have any questions... Leave them down below, do my best to answer everything. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.